what's up youtubers ebony here back with another software review for you guys and this is a windows only software review so mac users i'm sorry this tutorial will not help you in any way but then again you guys can already do this with your keyboard um, on a mac but for us windows users we usually have to control it ourselves or if we have a media keyboard then we can do that but if you have a media keyboard and let's say you broke your volume keys yesterday and you really hate it because you use them a lot then this tutorial will definitely help you and me out alright so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up your browser or you can just go ahead and click that link down below which I will provide in the description and we're going to be using a free yes free software called 3RVX is a software that I, I definitely recommend to anyone but this mainly is uh, aimed at my fellow desktop users because most laptops nowadays do have those volume keys for you but if you have like your laptop plugged up to an external monitor have a keyboard and mouse plugged up to it then this can definitely help you out there but again it doesn't matter uh, if you rock in a desktop or rock in a laptop all you have to do is make sure you're running Windows 7 or Windows Vista now I'm not completely sure on Windows XP because a According to the developer, full support for Windows XP is coming in the next version. And if you guys want to read more about that, just click this when you come to this page to read all the new features that will be coming in the next version of uh, 3RVX. Yeah. So once you're on this page, just click Installer, and it'll start to download for you guys. Click it and run it. I already installed it and downloaded this multiple times. So this website is probably mad at me. But once it's fully installed onto your computer, go ahead and open it up. There it is right here. Just search for it. Or it should be like right there. Or you can just go to all programs. Or you can just search for it right there. You remember? 3RVX. It'll, it's, it'll be there. So one thing I would definitely recommend when you're in this is click the run on Windows Startup. It's something that isn't clicked on default. Uh, so you have to click it yourself, um, but I would definitely recommend it, and it'll save you some time every time you restart your computer. Uh, it does have sounds on it, well, different skins do have different sounds, but the default uh, skin, which is the Mac one, does have the Mac sounds, which I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, you also can change the uh, the custom volume changer amount if you want to. This, is, this does not matter to me. I just want to... I'll be able to control uh, to either turn down the volume or turn it up a little bit more um, so yeah uh, you also can uh, use the custom mixer program on the tray clicker if you want to uh, I would recommend not doing that it really doesn't help at all you also can change the language on display uh, one thing I would definitely check uncheck really is this which will disable the hide when other programs are in full screen so if you're playing a game like sims uh... and you wanna can turn it up or turn it down just it, you won't be able to see it so i would definitely just go to unclick that and if you wanna mess with how long it takes for it to fade or fade speed you can also mess with that if you want to position you can display it on any monitor you want if you have multiple if you have a multiple monitor display i'm rocking the one monitor display so that doesn't matter you also can center it or have a custom location you have hotkeys set up my default hotkeys are uh, F3, F4, and F6, and F6 for the eject of the CD tray. But you also can add one if you want to, or delete one. You can change, these are the actions they have at the moment. Um, you can select one, let's say, window setting, and this would be G, just random, and click done. And if I would save it, and then click G again, it'll pop right back open. Um, I don't really need that, so I'll just delete it. You also have a skin chooser. They have multiple ones here. The default one is the Apple one by Steve Jobs. You can check out his website. It'll just take you to apple.com. Uh, you also have one with black icons. I don't see a difference in it, so yeah. Uh, you also 
um, Matthew uh, Maleski also designed the eyes in the PIX one. If you guys want to check those out too while you're playing around in it, I definitely recommend it. But they do have a couple of others. None of them look as nice as the Mac one, so that's why I have that as default. On the About page, it tells you what version, the name of the program, when it was made, and who made it, which is Matthew Maleski. He did an incredible job with this program. Uh, it also shows you what uh, language you're rocking. Mine is English as on default, yes, that's pretty much the only fluent language I completely know. I do know some Portuguese, but not as much as I would like. But that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have a request, I'll leave it down below. Or you can send me a PM here on YouTube. But thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, it's been a while since the last time I put up a video. But I do hope you guys truly enjoyed this. And I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Or software review or product review, who knows? But hopefully, I'll have a, next, a new video out for you guys in the coming weeks. But guys, take care, and I'll see you all in next. Mac is my swagger, took your bro. In the bathroom, she took her drawers. Bought my past shoe that looked like four. Back, I'm chilling, hope you are too. And I suggest you do because you are loose.